Show one four fifty, which is a farmer's model uh, hedge cutter. Roll belt 150, uh, New Holland round baler, which is quite interesting. Because we haven't got any uh, diet feeders on the farm, but just interesting to have a look at one, a power mix Pro 13. Well, hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I haven't posted a video in a while because I had the flu, if you watched last, the last video, which we did. And I've gotten over that now. We've been really busy carving and lambing. Um, and I've come down today to the Ernest Doe show uh, here in Molden. And you can see behind me, there's this massive quad track, which I thought I'd get a bit of film of today. Properly huge bit of kit. It's a 5 580. Uh, case quad track never actually sat in a quad track so look at that size of this kit some of these days it's just absolutely enormous i've got some brochures i've been looking at some equipment some iee gates and hedge cutters and all that good stuff so look at this absolute luxury these days and these new uh new quad track cabs so yeah well one massive bit of kit and there's a magnum next door and it, it has been sold, this one, so you can see over there. There's also a, an Optum next door, and we'll just go and have a look at Shelbourne, because there was a small hedge cutter over there, which uh, I wanted to have a look at, so we'll go and have a look at it. I know EW Davies have a quad track, so maybe they bought it. I'll have to uh, find out, see who's bought it. Awesome bit of kit, though. All right, so having moved on from the um, quad track, I was just talking to the guys here at Shelbourne about this, uh, this is a Shelbourne 450, which is a farmer's model, uh, hedge cutter and they're doing a, a show deal on it so it's they're going to sort of give you a good bit of a discount and uh, it's got a, you see a good flail head on the front there it's a 540 rpm speed and it's the 457 uh, this is the 450 which is a five meter reach they do a 5.7 meter reach um, but it's, it's relatively well priced uh, hedge cutter it's a good farm bit of kit and they're doing a show price at 19750 so um let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below we have always been after a hedge cutter. We did bid on a second hand one last year. We missed out on it. Um, but uh, this this is a good little farmer's spec one, not a contracting one, nothing too fancy, just very basic, very simple, and built in Suffolk by Shelbourne. Quite a solid, reliable hedge cutter. So, and then you can see next to the 450, there's a much larger contractor special. And um, you see that they've got telescopic booms and all that sort of thing. So they're obviously they're in a different league. But I just liked the small 450 because of its size and I think it would fit in, on, fit in well on our farm. Uh, Shelbourne also does as well diet feeders if you have a look there. This one's got a uh, optional elevator on the side because we haven't got any uh, diet feeders on the farm but just interesting to have a look at one, a power mix Pro 13. Smart. And then moving along from Shelbourne there's a, a huge Revelation twin rotor combine there. There's a square baler and there's this nice looking roll belt 150 uh, new holland round baler which is quite interesting of course one day in the future we'd love our own round baler uh, i've been looking at some second hand McHales. you need a, we need a good baler for silage really more than anything something which can process wet silage so um yeah quite an interesting looking baler and then there's this uh, new holland t6 it's the methane tractor which runs on gas, which is quite interesting. So I believe you, you can fill them up from anaerobic digestion plants. Um, so these look really, really interesting. I'd love to see one working one day in the future. And you can see on the front, that's where the gas is held up front. Something a bit greener and better for the environment. Okay, so we've just popped into Cherry Product Stand. This is um, great for attachments, all of our attachments on the farm. We've got buckets and muck grabs and all that good sort of thing, good stuff. And there is a new design out on the Cherry front boxes. They're now called the Box Smart. They used to be called at the Smart Box and they've been redesigned. So there you go, Box Smart. And they've got many new features on them. So if you have a look here on the side, they've got indicators now, which my one hasn't got. It's also got front LED lights. It's also got uh, flashing beacons as well, integrated into the sides, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah. So it's, it's been redesigned, something a bit more modern, a bit more sleek. So um, I've obviously got the old model now, which is called Smartbox, and they've upgraded to Box Smart. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully see one in the future. This is the weight which goes in the box. My one has concrete and they've upgraded to steel and it's got a metal filings insert uh, to weight it up. And the weights you can see go from 600 kilograms, 800 or a ton, depending on what sort of weight you need inside your box.
Coming towards the end of the day now, and I spent most of the day talking to uh, Shelbourne about that lovely old hedge cutter I was looking at. You see, the, you see there's a scraper there, just like I rolled a scraper tractor. And I'm just coming down, there's loads of attachments, sweepers, drills, all that sort of thing, we're just here walking through. And uh, there's a few tractors at the bottom we'll have a look at. Um, and I was also talking to um, Spreader Bale about a Spreader Bale coming on demo. We've got a Teagle Tallyhawk coming, but I was looking at the mini um, Spreader Bale, which you can spread round bales with. So we might have a look at that as well um, to match against the Teagle Tallyhawk. So that's going to be quite interesting. Um, you can see we've got loads and loads of uh, tractors here. We've got sort of Case, uh, Case in New Holland, uh, obviously being Ernest Doe's. And uh, we've got kind of a bit of everything. So Case, we have got an old Case on the farm. We've got an International, a McCormick International. Um, I know a lot of people like those tractors. New Holland, we have tried loads of New Hollands over the years. T5, T6 and a T7. Um, they are a cracking old tractor, built in Basildon, of course, just down the road from here. Um, I did live down in this part of the world for a while when I used to go to Rittle, uh, Rittle Agricultural College, many, many years ago. And uh, it's a nice part of the world. So with that, it's been a brilliant day down here. Unfortunately, I didn't pick up any of the working demos because I've been so busy talking to you guys and also talking to just people who haven't seen in ages and on the stands. Um, so I'm hoping we'll see the Teagle Tallyhawk soon on the channel and also the spreader bale, kind of like a a bale, um, kind of like a straw chopper showdown. Um, I'm just going to go and have a look at some of these trailers over here. Got some bale trailers down there. And then I head off back to Norfolk. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, keep liking, keep subscribing and all of that good stuff. Uh, and I'll catch you on the next one. And this is actually um, a Challenger MT765, which we used to see a lot on the farm. Um, there was a farm next door who used to have them, uh, Middle Ditch. And uh, they're one of my favourite tractors, these. They're crawlers, they sound great. And uh, the new ones, they just don't sound as good. they got a good cat engine inside them as well so click here to subscribe to the channel and click here to watch another Ollie's farm video mm.